So next up on the agenda, we're going to take a look at my go-kart mini nuke. This is a standard, a pretty stock uh, Manco. I think it's a 2012 Manco, and it has the five horsepower Robin on the back here. It's not a, not a you know powerhouse or anything like that, but it starts every time and it gets me where I want to go. This is a, a small cart. You know, it's it's kind of a kid's cart. It has two seats here. Mainly for kids, I let my kids drive it around the, the acreage out here. But uh, it's something I want to take to Wasteland Weekend. So first thing on the agenda though will be to get rid of this roll bar. I know it's safety and all this stuff. Um, probably what I'll plan to do is uh, I'll get rid of that, I'll redesign it a little bit and uh, get my kids another cart, something else that they can ride along you know, with. Um, I love carts. They're really simple to work on, and they're uh, they're very rewarding. You know, you can get you can do a little bit of work to these things and really get them moving pretty fast. So let me show you what I've done to it. it it's really not a lot at all. This thing is, even though it's a five horsepower uh, Subaru Robin engine, it, it does have a torque converter right here, and that helps a ton with uh, getting my fat butt you know around. I, th I think one of the main negative points about this is the lack of suspension you know this is a street cart and it's kind of one of those things where I, I thought well maybe I should build something else for wasteland but this I already have it it was super cheap uh, something that I got a couple years ago and I'm just gonna go ahead and build it you know something to get around we, you don't need anything really big to get around wasteland weekend this will be something to get around um, from camp to camp without worrying about you know starting up the big guy right there so so here's my plans all right i'm not going to put suspension on it uh i'll probably get another I, I do have another cart in the back that i with big suspension on it. it's a it's a grown-up go-kart a big boy go-kart that i will be doing some more work on but this one it's got you know tiny little look at those things oh look at those cute those are like lifter springs almost those are going to help me on the big bumps in the sand and wasteland weekend but I'm keeping all this on. What I'm going to do is I'm, it's more, more or less going to be an aesthetic change. I'm going to cut this here, get rid of the top, the top roll bar, those headrests back there. Um, I used to have a Volkswagen bumper bolted on right there, but I got it uh, ripped off at Aftermath. That was a lot of fun. Um, and then also, let's see what else I want to do. Oh, I do want to. This is this now. This rear the rear tires don't have any suspension at all. So this tiny bit, that little gap right there, can't even get my fingers in there, isn't really a problem. You know, that's the way this was designed. It's not going to travel up and hit this, but I am gonna cut this off anyway. Cut it here, over there, and, uh, and to allow for bigger tires. And if I can find bigger tires before waistline, I will get them for the back here. Uh, the problem is that. It's the, the one bolt hub you know, I, maybe I might convert it. I might convert it to a bigger hub. Uh, whatever those four, four bolt hubs, I think they are. All right, so let's get to work. So at this point, I am done with the framework, and I've got pretty much everything cut that I wanted to get cut. You can see the nose there that I got from a wheelbarrow. I'll show more of that later. Uh, I connected off and, and kind of closed off that top part there. That was originally the part with the headrest, and I just cut it and welded it up there. And then I have two pieces of rebar that I'm going to use as thunder sticks, like you see in Fury Road. And everything is going to be wrapped in um, this that same kind of cloth that I was using before and I use barge cement. Now barge is something that a lot of people use for uh, foam work. It's uh, something they use on shoes, like on the soles of shoes. It's super tough. Uh, you're actually supposed to let it dry a little bit, let it get a little tacky before you start applying uh, the cloth to it. But I just went ahead and just dunked it in there. I, I you know, put a bunch of it on there 
and I figure once it dries it'll be nice and, and hard on there. So that's what I did here. I wrapped this and once I got it wrapped uh, against the metal I went back over the top of it with more barge cement to kind of seal at the top which worked out really well. So you can see it, it hardens it and it makes it so that is not coming off, that's for sure. This is the final product. Uh, I think I'm about done here. I might do something else with the seat, I'm not sure. Um, but I, I hung some bones, I hung, hung some, uh, some rags on there. I might do a little bit more with that, but I don't want to go too crazy with it. I'm going to make this a simple build. Now the best thing to do at this point is just take it for a ride and just kind of see what stays on and what doesn't. So thank you for watching, and I hope that some of these techniques have helped you to uh, build your own cart or your car or whatever you uh, are building at the moment. And if you see me at Wasteland Weekend carting around on this thing, come give a shout to me, and uh, I'd love to show you a little bit more about it. Thanks for watching.